All right, I'm here with another one of the Accelerate coaches, and Coach, if you could, just introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Matt Rosenberg, a head lacrosse coach at La Jolla High School down in San Diego. Been coaching here at Accelerate for the last eight years. Nice. And how did you get involved with Accelerate? I know Steve Anderson, who's the, the president of Accelerate, did a camp I did down in San Diego called Great Western years ago, and then he invited me up when he started. We, I did the first camp at Reed College, which was a day camp up here in Oregon, and then we've been at Oregon State ever since, and then we came up to Washington as well. All right, and if you could tell us a little bit about the Accelerate Camps and what they offer for kids. They offer, it's a, it, the Accelerate Camps are uh, fundamental camps, learning camps. We do uh, five-day camps overnight, and we really work on fundamentals and enjoying the game. We play some games, but it's much more of an individual fundamental camp. And, that, and as a coach, how important would you say these kind of things are versus going to, say, like a recruiting camp, for example? I think they're real important. I mean, in, at all levels. I mean, we, we have guys that uh, are pretty good high school players all the way up to uh, you know, little guys that have first played. And uh, these team camps that, that are kind of proliferating now, they're great. They're good to get noticed, but there's very little instruction. And habits that, that bad habits kids have, they continue the bad habits. They don't get addressed at all. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a definitely place for these. these are, this is the more of the old school camps that I all used to have. And uh, you need them still. Yeah. I think kids just kind of polish their game out in the summer. And, okay. And so what is it then that Accelerate has to offer that is above and beyond the Call of Duty and things like that? It makes it special. Stand out. We have a really good staff. We don't bring in... Uh, just big names. We got a lot of good coaches. They bring in good coaches, guys that have high school teams, guys that are we have some professionals. But really, it's uh, it's kind of a good atmosphere. We got a lot of repeat campers that come in, and I, I think it's just a good, enjoyable week that we have. And it's uh, I don't think there's that many of these camps around anymore. Yeah. So I think that that's kind of like the experience. I mean, back in the day, uh, a long time ago, I, I went to some of these type of camps uh, back east, and that's where I got a lot better. So I think that, that, that definitely is a niche that needs to be filled. Okay. And so moving towards kind of like the growth of the game, you've been a coach at Out West for a while. Yeah. So how have you seen the sport grow in the years you've been coaching? Uh, this will be my 18th year, you know, in La Jolla High School, and uh, it's insane, the, the growth. I mean, we have middle school teams down in San Diego. You know, the kids are coming up the field. They're running fast breaks. The, the poles are switching right and left, hitting guys in stride. Um, the game has just blown up, and we've gone from – in San Diego, I think we had maybe uh, 20 teams you know, 15 years ago, and now there's 47. I know in Oregon, our first year we came up to and did read most of the kids. I mean, there were a handful of kids that have played, and now they had kids, and we had Peter Baum a couple years ago, you know, played in the Under Armour game. Just the level has gotten a lot better. It's insane. And how would you say, because there's always that East Coast, West Coast rivalry, obviously, since it was at the East, and how would you say that gap is starting to small and are great in it? I think it's lessening a lot. I mean, you get a lot of kids now. A lot of coaches are looking for kids out on the West. they got really good athletes on the West Coast. I mean, really good athletic, big, strong. Oregon and, and Washington have these huge, big, strong athletes, and uh, I, I think they're pushing. I really, it, I think it's this group of kids that are freshmen, sophomores around the West that have been playing since fifth grade, uh, fourth grade consistently that are really going to make a push back east and push those guys. Awesome. So then also as a coach, then what kind of tips would you have for someone young coming up on the West Coast, maybe from a non-traditional hotbed in the area, and especially even towards like the accelerate kind of idea? I think just get in and work work your fundamentals and, and then get noticed. And, and I think if you're playing in a non-traditional hotbed, you do got to have to play in some of these teams to get noticed. Sometimes your high school isn't going to be enough. And going to even, even like accelerate as not a team camp, we have a lot of college coaches here. We have guys that have played in college that know a lot of people. And we've had kids that are interested in playing college that will find contacts. One of the coaches will know somebody at a college and can call them up and at least get them looked at. So it's, uh, I think you just have to be a little bit more proactive as a player. Awesome. We'll end on a little lighter note. What is your favorite camp memory from this summer? Oh, this summer? Oh, God. Um, I would probably think Jeremy. Uh, we had a, a kid, Jeremy, who played for uh, a professional team back east. And uh, – he, uh, in the camper game last year, last week, he behind the back double pipe shot that was just insane. Everyone just kind of stopped and watched for a little while. It's awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much for your time, coach.